heat zones of the earth. In this module, you will learn about the temperature zones of the earth. The sun which is at the center of the solar system is the source of heat for all the planets. Since the earth is placed at a distance of 150 million miles away from the sun, it intercepts only a very small part of the solar radiation. The amount of solar radiation intercepted by the surface of the earth is termed as the incoming solar radiation or in short insulation. The amount of heat energy from the sun received by a place helps in deciding the temperature of that place. The heat energy thus received is not uniformly distributed over the surface of the earth. Some places are very hot and some other places are very cold. Let us first understand why there are differences in the distribution of temperature over the surface of the earth. The two major reasons behind this are angle of the sun's rays and shape of the earth. Similarly, at noon the temperature is very high and very hot. This is primarily because the sun's rays fall vertically on the earth. Whereas the temperature is mild in the morning because the sun's rays fall on the earth at an inclined angle. Same is happening in the evening also. Studies show that earth has a spherical shape due to which the sun's rays do not fall at the same angle. Let us understand with an example. Look at the light coming from the torch which is falling on a piece of cardboard which is placed in front of the torch. You will notice that torch light falling on a straight surface is bright and covers a smaller area. Now if you place the cardboard in little slanting position, you will notice that the torch light falling on the slanted surface is less bright and covers a larger area. Same is happening when the rays of the sun fall directly on those parts that are vertically below the sun. The rays heat only a smaller area on the earth and thus the heat energy received by that area is also very high. Based on the difference in heat energy received at different places, the surface of the earth is divided into different heat zones, namely the torrid zone, the temperate zone, the frigid zone. Let us learn about the torrid zone. The region lying between Tropic of Cancer 23.5 degree north and Tropic of Capricorn 23.5 degree south is known as the torrid zone. Here, the rays of the sun fall almost vertically through major part of the year. Hence, this region forms the hottest part of the earth. Here, summers are extremely hot and even winters are warm. The temperate zone receives slanting rays of sun. So this region receives less amount of heat as compared to the torrid zone. Temperate zone experiences warm summers and cold winters. In frigid zone, the rays of the sun fall extremely slanting which do not bring much heat even if there are longer periods of daylight. The regions falling in the frigid zone are the coldest and remain frozen for most part of the year. In this module, you have learned the following. The sun which is at the center of the solar system is the source of heat for all the planets. The amount of solar radiation intercepted by the surface of the earth is termed as the incoming solar radiation or in short, insulation. The two major reasons behind the differences in the distribution of temperature over the surface of the earth are angle of the sun's rays, shape of the earth. That is why the earth's surface has been divided into three heat zones. The torrid zone, the temperate zone and the frigid zone. The torrid zone lies between latitudes Tropic of Cancer 23 and a half degrees north and Tropic of Capricorn 
23 and a half degrees south. The sun rays fall vertically over a small area, hence this is the hottest part of the earth. The temperate zone. The zone is divided into the north temperate zone which lies between Tropic of Cancer 23 and a half degrees north and Arctic Circle 66 and a half degrees north and the south temperate zone which lies between Tropic of Capricorn 23 and a half degrees south and the Antarctic Circle 66 and a half degrees south receives less amount of heat as compared to the torrid zone therefore have mild temperatures throughout the year the frigid zone frigid zone is also divided into the north frigid zone which lies between arctic circle 66 and a half degrees north and the 90 degrees north pole and the south frigid zone which lies between antarctic circle 66 and a half degrees south and the south pole 90 degrees south. This is the coldest part of the earth. The rays of sun fall extremely slanting.